Hello and welcome. This is the LibreOffice How to Connect to SQL Server with BASIC. And this video is divided in three parts. The first one is to add a database to our data source and then we will do a query just on BASIC using BASIC. Okay, this is the version one and the second version is using a query object. Okay. First step, add the database to the data sources. And first, before everything, let me explain. The database will be called test and it will have a table that is named dummy and have two columns, A and B. A is an integer, is a number and B is a string, is just text. This is a clean LibreOffice Calc file and let me show you view data sources and it just came with the default one okay let me hide this add the data source so we go here file and new database then we choose connect to an existing database and we select ADO then we click on next we browse and we say that is a SQL Server native client 11. Next, we choose a server and we say I'm using the default Windows login so I use Windows NT integrated security and we want to choose the database. And we have this error because I forgot to here in the services I forgot to make this running the SQL server is not running so I start the service and then we can go here and try again let me try so here I choose the test database okay and then I click on test connection test connection succeeds okay okay and we can do finish if you go here if for example you need a user and a password you can insert here and there are other options but I don't need these so I'll click on finish then a new window is open and we choose where to save this file let me call this my database and save a new LibreOffice base file is open with our database and the tables that it has okay the dummy table is here if you see let me close these save if you go to the view and data sources now we have this my database okay if I expand these and if I search for the dummy here the data appears here and if I drag and drop the data appears in our calc file this is done the next step is making a query to our data source using just basic and we will do select all from dummy back again to LibreOffice first we need to create a macro so we go to the tools menu bar and macros organize macros and LibreOffice basic then under my macros and standard we go to organizer to create a new module and choose new we give it a name SQL OK and close we have here our new module SQL and it has a default function that is called main let's add it and let's change the name to exercise 2 also I want to let me give me some space here first I, I need to declare a variable that is the service name so private const service is equals to com dot sun dot star s db dot database context is this then we need a database name so I declare a private const database that is called my database I think let me go here to editors yes it's called my database 
Now we can go here to our function and do the actual code for the database. The first thing to do is create a context that is equals to create uno service and we pass the service the string that we have here com.sunstar.sdb.database context okay after this we want to get the database itself so we say db is equals to context dot get by name and we pass the variable database this my database okay next thing to do here is to create a connection so con is equals to database db dot get connection and the first string is the user the second string is the password because i don't have any user and password i don't need to provide one okay after this we can create a statement and that is equals to connection con.create statement okay what's next next we want to create a query string so query is equals to select everything from dummy is just this and we want to execute the query so we say that we have a result the result of the query and we say statement dot execute query and we pass the string d string the query string so the result will have the result of select all from dummy let's review the code first we declared a service that is a constant string and is the name of the service com.sun.star.sdb.database context then we declared another string that is the database and is called my database this is not the name of the database on sql server okay it's the name that we gave when let me show when we add it to our data sources the object name is my database the name that we gave okay after these we create a context using this function create uno service and we pass the string the constant string service then we de declare a database variable that we get using get by name database we pass the second string then we open a connection with get connection user and password i don't have any user so i don't provide that and then we get a statement after creating our statement we write our query and then execute the query okay let's now read the result so the first thing to do is declare the row we want to write for example right here okay starting at cell a1 and b1 and going down so I declare the number of row is zero and we need the controller that is this component dot current controller after these we need to get the active sheet so we declare sheet is equals to controller dot get active sheet and before everything I almost forgot we need to check if the result have any record so we check if not is null and we pass the result then we will do this okay and if so inside of this if we have these codes let me pass let me adjust the code then we want to do a loop while result as a next line and we declare a end while inside of these we say cell a is equals to sheet dot get cell by position and we pass the number zero the column is the number zero and the row variable after this we declare the same thing for the cell b is equals to sheet dot get cell by position and we pass the column one and row 
let me make this visible and so here we have uh, cell A and cell B now we want to write to these cells so we say cell A dot string is equals to result dot get string and we pass the number one the result works a little different from the other stuff starts at number one not at number zero if you pass the number zero it will give you a error for the cell B is the same thing but we want to get the string at two and obviously it will be cell B is just that the last thing that we need to do is row is equals to row plus one we can close these and here we can add our button so we go here to insert hyperlink and we choose document we target the exercise to sheet apply close we say that this is a button and make query apply okay we have these we need to go to edit mode so we go to toolbars form controls enable design mode we can resize we can give it a macro we go to the events and choose mouse button pressed three dots button we choose macro and under my macros we choose standard and sql exercise 2 okay okay and close now we can let me change the color so we go to the general and down moving down and we choose in background color we choose for example orange and can close disable these we have a second button let me delete this one and now we can test so if i click we have our data here this is done and to remember to create the context we call the function create uno service and we pass the string com.sun.star.sdb.database context after this we need to get a database get by name and we pass the name of the database is not the name of the database on sql server is the name that we gave when we added to our data sources okay after this we get a connection get connection and we pass a user and a password if you don't have any user or password you can pass a empty string then we create a statement and we execute the query with this function execute query after this we get the result with result.next and call the function get string passing the number of the desired column to note the column starts at index 1 so let's do our second version we will create a query object and then use it on basic code okay here in libreoffice i'm on another sheet exercise 3 i want to go here to my database if you don't have this open you can see this on menu view data sources okay view data sources opens this so we click on my database right click edit database file and a new window will open with LibreOffice base we select queries and we will select the third option here create query in sql view click and now in this new window we can say select all from dummy where a the column a is bigger than two so i save this and i give it the name of my query and okay then we can close these and close these two save now it's time to create our macro so we go to tools macros organize macros libreoffice basic under my macros standard sql module we want to edit okay and since we have something very similar than exercise number two we just copy these copy and paste let me change the name to exercise number three and here these we can delete these query and we say that we have queries is equals to database dot get query 
definitions and we want to get the specific query so we say queries dot get by name and I forgot the name that I gave so I go here and under my database and queries we have these my query here my query okay then we call dot command and then this query goes to the execute query okay so now you can save and close after this we need to add a button so insert hyperlink document it will target the exercise tree sheet is apply and it's a button and the text is make query apply okay we have the button but we need to view toolbars form controls enable design mode we can resize these and delete this double button go to control general to change the color to be green and events go to mouse button pressed three dots button assign a macro under my macros standard sql we choose exercise tree okay okay close and disable design mode okay now we can click and we have this result let me show you let insert more values so execute these and if we go here and make the query it will appear okay this is done and just to remember to get a database query objects we call the function get query definitions and then to get the specific query object we call the function get by name and pass the name of the query the name that we gave when we created on base okay this is the end and as always thank you for watching